guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited for today's video because not only will I be showing you guys how to get this look but I will also be sharing you guys with you guys this new product is the Stila uh, correct and perfect uh, color correction palette and I think it's so beautiful it's so amazing I will be giving one of these away so make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you stay tuned on when I release the giveaway so I do have a code with them so you could get the palette at, at a more affordable price and I believe you could already get it on the site but I'll link down um, the code everything else I get asked so much what products I use to color correct and this has been my go-to palette for months I know it is only available to the public like just now but I've been using this baby since like early on this year so I'm so excited to finally let you guys know what products I use to color correct and I hope that you enjoy so if you want to so learn how to get this look please keep on watching so here's a beautiful steel lip palette and it comes with five creams and two powders and an acrylic divider to help protect the creams from the powders and how cute are these micro mini beauty blenders that were also inspired by the palette itself so my skin is prepped and ready to go so I started with the green to help cancel out any redness in my face which I do have a lot as you can tell and I'm using a little bit of the orange concentrating the color on the inner part of the under eye area to cancel out my, my dark under circles. These micro mini beauty blenders are perfect to get into the smaller areas of the face and I love them they're so adorable. Okay, so next I have two veins um, that are on the sides of my mouth. The camera isn't really picking it up, but they're kind of uggo, and I try to brighten up that area with the salmon color from the palette and to just kind of neutralize that area before foundation. Okay, moving on, I'm using my Stila Ago Glow um, concealer for the under eye area. I really like this concealer because it's really lightweight and super pigmented so I can just use a little bit and it'll go a long way. Okay so now we're ready for foundation and you want to make sure that you dab on your foundation and you don't swirl it around so that you're not mixing the colors together. Next, you want to set any areas that tend to get oily throughout the day. For me, I just do the under eye area so that the, it doesn't crease and my T-zone area. And I'm just using a little bit of translucent powder to set it. I'm using Do The Hula by Benefit to add some color to my face and some contouring, but I'm doing it very lightly because I'm not going for a really, really strong contour. But after that, I pick up the powder to kind of set that area. And to really enhance that uh, contour, I'm just adding a little bit of translucent powder on the bottom to just sharpen that contour just a little bit. So shadow shields are great when you do your face first. That way you avoid some fallout. And I'm using this beautiful palette. This is the Holy Grail palette by Violet Voss. And it's so amazing. It's so beautiful. And just to go in between colors, I'm also using the Vermona just to kind of clean out my brush. I'm using hashtag as a transition color. And next I'm using Wine and Dine to kind of just bring more color on the, on the corner lid and crease area. And I'm using the same brush for all these steps. Pretty much, I'm just using the Veramona in between shades to help blend out those shades. Picking up a little bit of cranberry splash, I'm gonna use this color all over my lid before I add the glitter just because I want some shimmer on the bottom of that glitter and it's such a beautiful shade so I thought why not and this glitter is by eye candy and I believe the shade is in taffy but I will link everything below just in case
Moving on to lips, I'm using these two shades by Mellow Cosmetics. They are matte like lipsticks and I'm using the darker shade on the outer part of my lips and then with the next shade on the inner part. But I will also link them down below so you guys can see what shades I used. So I do have a couple beauty marks that kind of get lost under all that makeup so I just use a liner brush and some eyeshadow to kind of bring them out a little bit. So to finish off the face I'm using some blushing bashful must haves and this is Dandelion Pink by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm helping blend everything out with the Beauty Blusher by Beauty Blender. And I'm just using a little bit of Dandelion Pink powder on top of that. And seriously guys, this brush is everything. This is a collab with JD and um, Luxie and I love all her set that she came out. So it was a great collab girl. I am so proud of you. And for my favorite part, of course, this is Becca Cosmetics in Opal and I'm just highlighting my cheeks, a little bit of my nose, even on my um, brow bone so I could get that little oomph. That's it for this look guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you love glitter and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and I cannot wait to share all these looks that I have in mind for you guys. So until next time, bye guys. Um, if you want to...